Okay, so let's go to the sign up component. Where is it? It's right here. Okay, we need to actually first let's create the action. So let's go to uh, user actions. And here let's create an action that's like login user, but it's the sign up. Uh, it's actually going to be very similar. So we can just copy this and then paste it here. And instead of login user, this will be sign up user. It's going to take the same stuff here. Let's call this new or right, let's wait, let's let's control D and then call this new user data just for readability. We dispatch login, uh, loading user, uh, loading UI, that's fine. We change this to slash sign up. We send the request to slash sign up. And the same thing happens here. We set the token, we get the user data and we clear the errors. We push the home page and we set the errors if any, cool. But uh, one thing though, this code is repeating itself. So let's, let's make it into a um, helper function. So let's cut this. Uh, let's make a function here. Let's call it a set authorization header and it will take the token and here we will have that same code but instead of rest.data.token it will be just token which is this uh, function argument. So we can just actually um, call it from here. So here as well. So here we just do um, set authorization header when we pass it res.data.token and let's copy this and instead of all of this in the login we paste it. So set authorization header res.token header data.token. Cool. Let's create actually another action for um, for login out. So const uh, export const log out uh, user. And this won't take anything and I think it won't even take this batch or will it? I think it will. All right. Yeah, it will. All right. So here, what we need to do is we just need to remove the token from the storage. So we do local storage dot rem remove item. And we just pass it the name of the item, which is uh, as a string, of course, FB ID token. And and here what we need to do, we need to remove the header, uh, the authorization header from uh, the defaults of Axios. So we can actually just delete the entry by doing delete like this. Axios dot headers, no actually dot default, defaults dot uh, headers dot common. And the header is authorization. And here we need to dispatch a type, uh, an action rather, and of type set unauthenticated. Have we we brought a, yeah, we brought that in, and we have it in types. So this will um, clear out our user state. If you remember, if we go to user reducer, it will set unauthenticated. We return the initial state, and it will, it will set us back to being not authenticated and having no credentials and nothing. Let's remove these unused imports right now so I can get rid of the warning. Let's save this and this as well. Let's go to sign up and actually start using that. So here we're going to bring in, um, so we're going to bring in, oops, import connect. Let's say Redux here, Redux, Redux stuff. And here is the connect from, not equal, from React Redux. And we need to bring in the sign, um, the sign up user from Redux. Go back one level, go to Redux slash actions slash user actions. All right. And then let's go at the bottom and actually connect the component. So here we do export default connect and we pass a map state to props and a map state. Now a map actions to props. We close this and then we open another parentheses and we close another set of parentheses. And here let's say const map state to props equals yeah equals it takes the state and it returns so we need the user 
so user equals or colon state dot user and we need the UI so state state dot UI okay so yeah we need the map actually we we can just pass it like this because we only have one action so it's still clean to type something like this so log out user without actually putting it into a variable and putting it there let's add them to the prop types so we have user is a prop types dot almost typed user dot object dot is required and we have ui which is prop types dot object dot is required and what else we have the function logout user is a prop types dot func dot is required all right and we brought the function so we need to use it here when we submit so we can cut all of this actually we already have it in the other code so we can just here we just say this dot props remember it's in the props already log out user and we pass it um the new user data or just call it user data here let's change this to new user data it doesn't make that big of a difference but it, it's more readable so this dot props dot history we pass it so that we can redirect and yeah i think actually no we need to set the errors let's just copy this from login component will receive props let's put it here and let's remove the loading from the state we keep the errors because we can set them from here and here we from the props we get from the props from the ui we get loading we remove the loading from the state and this should be fine let's save let's see if we get any errors we do logout user is not defined in sign up oh not logout sign up why did I put logout? It's actually sign up. Okay. And here as well, it's sign up. No, it's sign up. This dot props dot sign up. All right. So that should be fine. If we go to sign up, oh, actually we're logged in. So let's go to application. Let's remove the token. Let's go to sign up. Actually, we need to fix this because it needs to know. Okay, we go to sign up. We'll fix the author out in a bit. All right, if we send, cool, we get the errors. And uh, let's try to sign up a new account. New six at email.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The handle will be new six. We send sign up. Cool, we get redirected. We get our token. Everything works. All right uh what else let's go to the app so here the way i want to check is that i want to check if the token uh is in the storage but this authenticated obviously it's really bad practice to have global variables like this so we need to um call the actions from uh, from from our user actions and set ourselves to to be authenticated and then edit the state accordingly so here at the top, uh, here on the Redux, we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in two types because we can actually call them from here as well. So we're gonna bring in set authenticated, and we're gonna bring in set um, errors, or do we? I don't think we need it actually. No. So just set authenticated from. Go back one. Actually, we don't. It's on the same level. Redux slash types, and we bring in the uh, logout user, because in case the token is expired, we just log out from here. Logout user and uh, get user data. Have we created get user data? We have, yeah. Oh yeah, of course we have. From uh, Redux slash actions slash uh user actions and here when we compare the token so if it's expired we just do 
uh, we can actually do store dot dispatch and here what we need to dispatch is we need to dispatch the action logout user and that will um, delete the token and log us out let's get rid of this authenticated variable and we are as well like set the href to slash login so we get redirected and let's remove this authenticated equals true but instead let's do store dot dispatch and here we dispatch an action with the type set authenticated which just sets authenticated to true and then when we go to the home page we actually um, get the data or when we call get user data we get the data so um, let's do store dot dispatch so after we dispatch that we are authenticated we dispatch get user data and actually actually for this to work because when we set axios default headers when we actually refresh the page those headers are like those defaults are gone and axios is reinitiated again we need to again do axios dot default or we need to bring in axios and uh, VS Code did me the courtesy of doing it itself, but it, it did this capital thing. Uh, Axios.defaults.headers.common. And here we say authorization. And it's equal to the token that we have up here. Not Roken, token. All right. And then we get the user data. This should work. But because we got rid of the authenticated uh, thing, we can't use it here. So let's delete that. And, but I think author out would complain because we're, we're mm. let's fix author out as well. We might, we might as well, since we're here. So let's bring in connect. We need to connect this component as well to our, uh, to our state. So let's bring in connect from react redux. And uh, no, actually, yeah, that's it. Just connect, and let's export default connect uh, map state to props, and we don't need any actions, so we can omit that the um, the argument. And here we do const map state to props equals it takes in the state and here oh yeah, actually it's a function it returns an object and here we can actually even get a certain key within an object so we can say authenticated and then do state dot user dot authenticated and it will get just that one key one property and here it's it's going to be in the props so nothing changes here so we get authenticated from the props and then we get it here and we uh, redirect if needed let's do actually prop types as well because you know you never know what's going to happen so let's do prop types and it's always good to practice these uh, these best practices so that you get used to them all right so prop types and here we say what is it auth route auth route dot prop types equals and what do we have we have just user so prop types dot object uh, dot is required actually this is a capital p and everything should be fine let's save all files sign up axios is defined oh actually we don't need axios anymore here because we're doing that from the user actions we have Axios in the login as well. Let's get rid of that. All right. We will use these. So let's just ignore that warning for now. Let's go here. Let's see. We have a token. And if we click here, it redirects us. And if we delete the token, now we click here. Huh. Somehow that the auth route is not working. We deleted the token, but we're still we're still logged in. Oh, because we need to actually oh this executes once uh, the app is submitted. Actually, yeah, it's behaving uh, it's behaving normally. I don't know what uh, I was thinking there because that would be triggered.
Actually, because a login would not be triggered by someone deleting the token, it would be triggered by us deleting the token from the app. Uh, there would be a login button, and that login button, when you click it, it doesn't just delete the token, it actually sets the state to unauthenticated. So yeah, no one will actually go and delete the token like this. If they do, they will actually break our app and we have no way of fixing that. <laughs> All right, so this is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.